It's incredible for me to think that it's 25 years ago since it happened to me. So it's the 25th anniversary this Christmas. I didn't do anything to do with this Cot Death campaign for any other reason than to try and get my baby back. It's one of those funny things you do. Um, you think the more you do, and even though it's a completely unreasonable thing, you think if I just do this, if I just work that bit harder, maybe somewhere along the line I'll get my baby back, and it didn't work. It was my eldest son, Oliver's fourth birthday, um, and when I went into Sebastian's room, I, I encountered what I can only ever describe as every mother's nightmare, which is um, my little boy was a stiff, cold statue of a child instead of the warm, cuddly, milky baby that I'd put to bed the night before. And I just screamed. I was just rocking my very, very little cold baby. Um, and it was actually painful to hold him because he was so cold. Downstairs, I could hear commotions at the front door um, and reporters and photographers were desperately trying to push their way in. I remember at one point, Oliver just turned around really, really quietly and said, can I open any of my presents now? And we suddenly, all of us tear-stained and dealing with the horror of the moment, suddenly turned to him and thought, oh my goodness, yes, it's his birthday.